I just finished wiring in the glow plug relay. I'm using the factory 7 pin Bosch relay for the glow plugs. It's actually more like a module in the way that it operates, but they call it a relay. It's got 7 pins. This is the easy one. The later models have 9 pins. Um, this one just has two outputs to the glow plugs. The later models have an individual power wire to each glow plug. This one just has two. So I've got an inductive amp clamp here on the power wire. Let me see if I can get a better view. There we go. So I ran the, the main power to the glow plugs off the side post terminal, positive terminal here. It's supposed to draw about 50 amps at wide, you know, at full, full power to the glow plugs. So this amp clamp is going to show that. I'll show it on the meter here. To trick the glow plugs into coming on under all conditions, you have to unplug the temperature sensor. It's down in here on the back of the head. So I've already got that unplugged. And then we'll go hit the key and I'll show you what happens. So that's the amps that the glow plugs are pulling. Obviously less amps as the glow plugs get warmer. And there it just turned off. Uh, I heard the relay click. So it appears that everything's working normally. And then I verified that with a VAGCOM. Diagnostic software here. The only fault now related to glow plugs is due to the glow plug light, which I don't have connected yet. Yes, the ECM detects that there is no light, and it throws a fault for that. It's kind of crazy, but it does. So, uh, And the light is useful to know when the glow plugs are on and working or not. So I'll add a light in later. That's not real critical right at the moment. Relay pin 30 is the largest terminal on the relay and is wider than your normal size spade connector. This is a fused 50 amp circuit from the battery positive post. Relay pin G1 slash 2 is switch power wire to glow plugs 1 and 2. Relay pin G1 slash 2 is also a switch power wire to glow plugs 3 and 4. Relay pin 31 is a control side ground. Relay pin 86 is a control side positive. This is powered by the ECM relay. Relay pin ST is ECM to relay. The ECM uses this wire to activate the relay when specified conditions are met where the glow plugs are required to be on. It is a 5 volt signal and goes to ECM pin T80 slash 42. Relay pin D1 is a 5 volt signal back to the ECM when ST pin is powered. This circuit provides feedback to the ECM which includes fault checking. This goes to the ECM pin T80 37. With this configuration the glow plugs worked perfectly for me the first time I tried it. With the ECT sensor unplugged my ammeter read 49 amps on relay pin 30 with the key on. After I started the engine, the amp draw went down to 24 or 25 amps. This wiring information is for the Bosch OEM relay, part number 0389112523. Of course, use this information at your own risk. This data is correct for my application and may not be correct for your application. Double and triple check your wiring diagrams. Figure out and understand exactly what each wire does and do your own research. Learn how things work. Also be sure to write notes so you don't forget. This makes it easier to troubleshoot in the future.